Uh, Brian here from quantlabs.net. I'm going to be showing you a uh, important um, state flow with a Simulink model demo found in the uh, stock uh, state flow uh, uh, toolbox. If you come under your toolbox state flow SF demos, you should find uh, a variety of demos files. All these. What I'm going to show you is called uh, SF Server MDL. Okay, so this is the model itself. Um, I have no real idea what this is doing. It's just running some state um, through some kind of GUI, uh, just random states that it's running and, and displays a variety of uh, things. But I'll, I'll run it right now. So here's the GUI. It's just going to run all these different states and numbers and da da da. Fun, great, lovely. Okay, but the key is what I'm after to show is. Um, is uh, basically the various things that we have available. Obviously, these four items here are state flow charts. Um, some of the state flow charts are fairly uh, basic uh, set of conditions, maybe a switch or whatever in this case. Um, and some other ones, which is the key of, the, of this video, is the MATLAB uh, M functions that are available in the state flow. The um, reason I'm showing you this is just due to the fact of the uh, M functions that I want to implement into my own um, simulate models and state flow charts. So this is one of the models um, that has that as an example and of course it's from MathWorks so you'll get a better reference of uh, best practices and that sort of thing and how it should be done. So if I take a look at this uh, massive M function, what people need to realize is, is this is not a standard M function, this is an S function just written in the uh, M scripting language. So, um, you know, you still have to go through the coder process as if you're trying to prepare this particular function for code generation, because I've said this before in previous videos, is that um, the, the uh, coder or the simulink and the coder um, when you do co-generate, it is using the underlying coder toolbox uh, for the co-generation process. So you still have to comply with, or all the um, M functions have to comply with the standard coder function and um, set up specifications for it to co-generate. So you do have to be aware of that. Anyways, um, as I said, these are uh, some various, uh, as I said, M functions. Um, and the key is, is is this model explorer, which will um, definitely highlight all the different objects and, and components within this Simulink model. Um, each of these queues, server, source, transmitter, uh, they're the actual state flow charts. So uh, let me just go back to the parent. So it's here we got uh, source, transmitter, queue, server. So as I said, those those are each one of those are uh, state flow charts. So um, as I said, we have MATLAB function, M functions, um, but if I go into the model explorer, um, that's what we have, is we have, let's say in my case, uh, what are we looking at here? Um, the Q, yeah, no, the transmitter, okay? So if I look at the transmitter in the model explorer, uh, as, as I said, you will have all these different uh, functions. Um, and uh, they are state flow uh, charts because here in the state flow chart um, you'll notice that it says obviously content view state flow chart so you have uh, four different events uh, I have talked about scopes and uh, models and buses and all that sort of fun stuff in uh, different videos available for my members but I'm just giving uh, everybody out there just a general highlight of, of how this all comes together with Simulink and state flow um, so obviously we have some uh, um, events here that we create um, through here or here um, and uh, we, we can configure it to whatever however we like so it's it's, it's accepting the input from Simulink um, and there's different states and it gets ported onto different um, onto different uh, ports uh, and uh, as I said, we have the different uh, GUIs, um, and uh, this this is a very good um, a very good uh, example or, or of, a, of, a, of a particular demo of Simulink. Um, and maybe I might even put a, a co try to co-generate this in the C and uh, 
let my membership see the um, various uh, source code when it's code generated to C and C++. Remember, this can be coded to uh, code generated to um, to uh, HDL as well for uh, FPGA, so it can be uh, code generated. Um, for those that have not seen this capability, here's the model, the main model. Uh, big whoopsie there. So, as I keep saying, this is the important reason why I use uh, I use state flow and Simulink and all that. This is the real reason. Um, so we have C C++ code, cogeneration. Here's the options, and I can cogenerate in whatever language C or C++ as well as use build. And that's it. Um, for the HDL, we have the same kind of process. Uh, HDL coder, um, and then that will enable you to code it, uh, cogenerate into either. Um, Verilog or HDML, I believe, for both Xilinx and the uh, Verilog uh, FPGA manufacturing boards. Um, so overall, it's it's a very good demo on how to use this. Uh, I'll be I'll be continuously posting various videos, looking for role models and, and, and what you can use as a way to uh, use a Simulink model uh, to co-generate trading strategies or any type of uh, mechanical process. But obviously, in my case, to co-generate uh, a Simulink model with, with various Simulink, uh, sorry, state flow charts, and then be able to uh, generate C code from that. Hopefully, this will help you out. Uh, I will talk to you later.